Hello my fellow supports, HotRod08 here, and today we are going to be answering one of my most asked questions, which is what support champions should you play to climb out of low elo the fastest? Now before I get into the rest of this video, I want to make it very clear that no matter what support champion you choose, no matter what the current meta is when you're listening to this video, that you can climb up to diamond with any single support that you choose if you are skilled enough with them. It's been proven multiple times by high elo support players that if they make a new account and if they have the knowledge that they've learned from being in high elo, when to engage in team fights, when to be where on the map, how to prioritize objectives, that they are going to be able to climb up to diamond with any support champion because it doesn't matter what support champion you pick in order to be able to tell your teammates what to do when they need to do it or for yourself to rotate where you need to and to ping out the objectives that you need to go to. So with all of this information in mind, there are easier supports to pick than others in order to climb faster in lower elo. And these come in three different tiers. Your top tier supports are going to be your playmaking supports, such as Thresh and Pike and Blitzcrank, or your engage supports, such as Leona and Alistair. And then in the second tier, you're going to have your AP supports, which are going to include uh, champions like Brand and Zyra. And then your bottom tier supports are going to be your Enchanter supports, which are going to include uh, Janna, Sona, Soraka, Nami, and Lulu. Now, before you get upset at me because I've listed possibly your favorite champion lower on this list, I want to explain to you why it's exactly set up this way. Now, um, the first thing that higher tier supports in this list are going to have is the ability to initiate picks and in team fights. Now, it is very important to be able to start a pick that is in your favor to get kills that... Um, are going to be low risk and high reward or to start team fights that are going to be in your favor because that's how you're going to win the game that's how everything else leads to victory now getting a kill or a pick um, by itself or starting a good team fight isn't going to by itself win you a, a game because kills don't matter it's what you do after the kills that matter because getting a pick is going to open up objectives like getting Baron or taking a tower or getting an inhibitor, uh, getting even a dragon or an elder. Um, and it's those things that are going to win you the game and not the kills themselves. But you can't get to that point, at least in your favor, without getting those picks or those necessary team fights in order to be able to do that. And the engage and playmaking supports like Thrash Pike and Blitzcrank are going to be able to give you that opportunity a lot easier and on your own accord rather than uh, champions like Janna, Sona, and Soraka who don't exactly have that ability built into their kit safely. Another key thing that really helps you be able to climb with support is your champion having high damage output. Now, not every single champion on this list is going to have high damage output that is going to be in the top tier like blitzcrank he doesn't have really high damage output but it does help to be able to have that ability to finish off low uh health enemies that are running away or that at least have some ability to burst them down which is why ap supports like brandon and zyra although they don't have as easy as a time to engage or get a pick um, on the enemies they do have the ability to themselves delete a squishy champion like an ad carry or their the enemy mage that is squishy maybe like a zoe because uh, again that's gonna lead to situations like uh, being able to get those towers or those other objectives because they're gone and they, you have those favorable team fights like 5v4. Those champions are going to make it easier. Then if you have a Janna, even if an enemy like a Zoe has only 400 health, there's almost going to be no way that you can finish them off yourself. So with those things together, it is just overall easier 
for you yourself to carry a game as a playmaking or engage support or even an AP support than it is going to be with an enchanter support because you do have those abilities to initiate team fights, picks, and you are able to kill enemy champions and do things on your own accord. The problem with enchanter supports in lower elo is that you can't rely on you yourself to carry a game. You have to enable someone else to carry a game. If they don't have the ability to, then you aren't going to be able to win that game because no matter how well you protect that person, they aren't going to be able to have that ability to carry the game. They may not have the judgments to get the correct picks or to initiate the correct team fights, or they just simply don't have the skill in order to kill enemies when they should be able to with the items that they currently have. Now, this doesn't mean that Enchanter supports can't win a game, because they obviously can if you play it correctly. And I would also be a hypocrite if I don't say that, because I myself got to Diamond only with Enchanter supports. When I played in Season 7, I got from Silver to Gold with just Janna. And then when I got uh, from Gold to Platinum, I did it with Janna and Soraka at that point. And then when I was in Platinum, I ended up picking up Rakan when he was released. And through a lot of games, I was able to carry myself up to Diamond with Rakan. He is a playmaking support, so that does help him. But he is also on that Enchanter side. So he does he has really low damage output, so he can't really kill too many enemy champions. But he did have the Engage tools to do it. But still, I was able to get up to Diamond with Rakan. Now... If you are still wanting to play an enchanter support and lower elo, it's not like you can't do it. I told you every single uh, high elo person that can pick any single support that they know how to play in lower elo and climb themselves at least up to diamonds. And this is the same with enchanter supports. You definitely can win games with enchanter supports and make a difference, but you have to do it a little bit differently than other champions would. You have to rely on your allies in order to do some of the work for you and keep them alive. So... If you are an Enchanter support in lower elo, you need to do two things. One, after the laning phase, you need to follow around your most fed ally on your team like a puppy dog. Like, so if your AD carry is 0 and 4 in the bot lane and he's just not doing well, you really do need to forget him and not follow him around because he's not doing anything for you. You need to follow that one person that's going to carry on your team maybe like the 5-0 jacks that's in the top lane you need to be focusing around him you need to be warning out for him you need to be close to him in order to give him backup you need to be his ally you need to be right next to him when he needs you the most at least close by so you can catch up to him and the other thing that you need to do is focus on not dying yourself to stupid things now Dying in this game, and this is for any support, but especially enchanters, you have the ability to stay far enough back in order to not put yourself in compromising positions to not die. So every, almost every single time you die as an enchanter support, it's your fault because you don't really need to be tanking the damage. You just need to be in the back protecting your allies as best as you can without you yourself dying. Now, when it's really late game, and it's like the last fight that's going to make a difference, yeah, you might have to be a little bit closer up. You might have to take a little bit of damage for that one ally that might uh, be the one that's going to carry the game for you. But for the vast majority of the game, you need to focus on not dying to stupid things. So not if, if you go out and ward the river and you end up getting picked, that's your own fault. If you lose that game, you made a mistake. If you're in a team fight, you got just a little bit too close up in like the mid game when it's not going to be like the last fight in the game and um, you dying isn't going to make a difference, then it's your fault. You need to focus on not dying as any support, but especially in chair supports. And if you do focus on not dying to stupid things, then you're going to see yourself climbing a lot faster than someone that's just going out in every single fight and dying um, in those fights, even if you come out ahead. Sometimes you don't need to die, and that goal that you're giving the enemies, as well as that uh, control that you yourself will have given if you're uh, continuing to be in those fights and be in the later game, uh, can help you win the game as opposed to you just not being there. So the two things you focus on, as I said, follow that most fed... Uh, ally on the team, be close to them, make sure that they are the ones that you're supporting, and to not die into stupid things. So that is going to be my video for today. 
If you guys have any questions over anything or have any comments over my video, comment down in the comment section below. I would love to hear your opinions on what I've said today. If you're enjoying my content and want to consider supporting the channel, head over to my Patreon. There you can enjoy perks such as early releases of some of my videos, having me look at your op.gg and giving you suggestions, and having your name shout out at the end of my videos like these lovely people here who are already contributing to the channel. If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, I feature support-focused League of Legends content that I release on a weekly basis. Would love your support. I've also started streaming on YouTube on Mondays and Thursdays from 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you want to learn how to play support better from high elo support player and have your questions answered while I'm playing, head over to one of my streams. I would love to have you there. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like on it as it really helps me out, and hit that notification bell next to the subscribe button to keep up the latest content that I release. But, rather than that, you guys have a great day today. Thanks much.